I'm gonna try my first Bigfoot call on camera. I have never done this before. And you hold your camera so and you I don't know what I'm do doing. It. Yeah. I'm hold my camera. Hey, what's up, guys? Sean here. We are finally headed back out on an overnight adventure. If everything goes like it's supposed to, this one's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get it. Alright guys, so we have made it. So, we are out in Jennings State Forest again. It's been a little while since we've been here. And as you can see, there's some other people set up camping here. We're actually camping this weekend with my buddy uh, Tampa Jamie and Bigfoot Mike. And there's a group of Bigfoot hunters, I believe, that are going to be camping with us this weekend. So, that should be a lot of fun. Mike's channel is in the shadow of Big Red Eye. So, you should go check his stuff out really cool but uh i think now we got to find us somewhere to get set up and start enjoying it it has been a few weeks since i've been out in the woods and i've been missing it so let's find us somewhere to camp there's a lot of trees that i could hang from Shouldn't be too hard to find a good spot. So this is a good location here. The trees are spaced perfectly apart. The only issue is this tree right here. As you can see, it's broke off at the top and it's dead. It's kind of windy out here, so that could be a problem. But we may be able to remedy that. That's part of it. Problem solved. Alright, so we got that down, that problem solved. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up. And uh, now, we can cut that up. Got some firewood too. Two birds, one stone.
so we are all set up now it is pretty windy out there and i'll say that this tarp from hanging high hammocks is blocking the wind off of me now i have one of the doors open so i can get a little airflow through here um, and if I needed to, I could go ahead and open those back doors up and it would create basically a wind tunnel through here. But I've got those locked down. And what I've done is I tied out one door. But I left the other door untied at the bottom. So if I need to, I can unbutton those and flip those back and still get a little more breeze through here. But I'm really liking this tarp. It's a little more set up than my regular tarp, but... That's okay. I really, I really like this setup. It's supposed to get down to roughly 40 tonight, so I think that'll help in here to keep that wind broke off, and uh, I think it'll be, be pretty nice. So, I, uh, I'm liking it. No, that's not gonna work. It'll I need work. a I need a baton. Perfect. Well, I'm all set up. I've got my tarp and everything ready to go. Now it's time to chill. So, sitting here, Jimmy's over there doing some carving. I think he's actually painting his carving now. But I've got me a little block of wood. I'm gonna sit here and carve a little bit. Uh, our buddy Mike had a uh what do you call it he was doing a presentation at the library and uh, a bigfoot presentation at the library which is pretty cool and uh so he's gone for a little while but he'll be back a little bit later so right now we're just chilling and uh get a little carving done i think good way to just sit here and spend some time in the woods and relax Got to start to a little hat going there. That's how we start. Just something simple as that. I don't really have a, a solid plan, but like I said, I typically carve something similar to what I'm carving right now. So it's, you know, I have have a plan a little bit in my head. But uh, I like to carve these because they're fairly simple to carve. And like I said, carving is relaxing, so if you find something like this that you like to do and you like to carve, I don't care if you carve a thousand of them, if you're still enjoying carving them and uh, it relaxes you, nothing wrong with that. Do what works for you. Me and Jimmy were just talking about it, and Jimmy's a little bit, a little bit different. He doesn't like to carve the same things over and over again like that and uh we were actually just discussing that but this one i'm fairly proficient at carving this particular thing so that means you got to mix it up some yep that's right if i'm proficient at it that means i need to do something different doesn't it yep that's right all right so maybe i'll Turn this guy into a hot dog or something. We'll do your eyes differently. Do, do the eyes differently? Maybe we'll do that. We'll see what we can work on that. Alright, so I've got this little guy carved up here. Pretty similar to what I normally do. I did a little something different with the beard down here instead of hooking it to the side I did something a little different down there and if you look Jimmy drew me some little lines on the eyes there and uh, we're gonna try to carve those little slots out there and actually put some regular eyes on this guy so fingers crossed I can do it and make it look right if not I'll throw it in the fire erase this footage and nobody will ever know now while I've been carving this one little guy here Jimmy's already on his second carving. Let me show you the first thing that he carved up, which I think is pretty cool. I I carved this little guy that I carved 
literally almost every time. Jimmy carved a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> what do you think about that? How crazy is that thing? Pretty neat. Oh, let's get a little piece on there. I mean, he painted it up and everything, did the little burns around the edge. That is cool. I'm gonna have to try to talk him out of that because I've got his uh <laughs> I've got his roasted hot dog on my shelf there at the house. So I need the roasted marshmallow to go with it. But um Jimmy's got a whole set here for his carving stuff. He's got all kind of stuff in there, which is really cool. But he's gonna let me use some of his stuff and paint this little guy up, so I think that'll be kind of fun. He's got like little V tools and all this little gouges and stuff like that that I could sit here and do some other little fine lines on the beard if I want to and that sort of thing. Get some uh, other little details in there. But I think that more or less I'm going to just use his paint and uh, paint this little guy up. Okay, so I uh, went a little heavy on the paint, but as you can see, I got a little gray beard there, white and red hat. Maybe shouldn't have done the white on the face, but I don't know. It turned out okay. Oops. Now I've got to, I've got to do the uh, the little eye color, and then uh, I'm gonna do a little something different to the hat. I don't know yet, but so far he's looking kind of cool. All right, I think I'm gonna call it right here. He's pretty cool. I like him. He turned out all right. He looks a little bug-eyed, but don't we all? <laughs> I, I don't know if we'll get a chance to sight anything part. tonight. But I did sight this little. I guess this is a little big foot, a little foot. Uh, Jimmy carved this while I was carving my one carving. This is the second thing he carved and painted. But uh, yeah, turned out pretty cool though. Okay. So tonight for dinner, as you can see, we're doing something a little different. This is a white wine pepper sauce chicken. And uh, I 
I thought I would take one of these little packs of uh, penne pasta <clears throat> and mix that together and do a foil pack. This is all pre-cooked, so all it really has to do is heat up. So I did a little bit of olive oil on there just to try to keep things from sticking to it. And uh, we're going to try it out. And the nice thing about it is this little pack came, this little pack here, came with this little uh, plastic container. So when it's all done, I'll just use this as a bowl. So fingers crossed. It looks like it's going to be pretty good. It smells delicious. So let's get this over the fire and get it heated. Oh, well, that's heating up. You know what time it is. Tonight, I've got a little bottle of Maker's Mark. It's a little different than what I've been drinking, but I only had a little of this left, so use it up. Cheers. So while dinner finishes warming up, let's go over here, meet some people. I got something I want to show you they found. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm here with my buddy, Bigfoot Mike. Hey, hey. So, Mike, you want to tell everybody a little bit about your channel? So your channel's called In the Shadow of Big Red Eye, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. In the Shadow of Big Red Eye. Uh, we go across the country. Right. And we camp out at state parks and national forests, whatever, whatever have you. Yeah. And we film my show in the shadow of Big Red Eye at night, and right. I speak at libraries during the day. Right. Kind of like so that's, that's where you were at today, right? That's where we were at today. Right. We did a, a wonderful presentation in Orange Park. Uh, uh, Orange cool. Park. Uh, we had like 27 people show up, 27 <laughs> squatchy people. That's there you amazing, go. That's awesome. right? That's awesome, yeah. And uh, yeah, and I, this is what I do full time. Very, very cool. So uh, there's another group here that uh, you invited us out to, and we're going to meet with them. So who do we have over here? Big, Foot researchers. This is Marie. She's Marie. a good friend of mine. So Mid Florida Bigfoot researchers. Is that what Mid, it is? Mid Florida Bigfoot Research Group. Right. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So, we're so on Facebook and Instagram, and we have a YouTube channel. Very cool. So you went out. Uh, was it this morning and got those uh, uh, tracks? Found, found them last night. Very very cool. On a nighttime outing, went down yep. this dirt road that had been like churned up, so it was really soft. Right. Even though it rained, it was still nice and soft. Yeah. And I spotted them last night. Very very and cool. We marked them. Went back this morning, and then we cast them. Yeah. Looked at them how awesome is that? That's very all very matters, cool. Right? Yep. Yeah. Thank right. you. Love I really it. appreciate your time. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank Well, dinner turned out really, really good. It cooked all the way through. The temple packet worked really good. And that pasta worked out. Really, really easy. Actually, it's delicious. Simple. All right, so we are headed out are on a sure? big You're not foot gonna fall hunt. off the tailgate. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. We are uh, in the back of a vehicle. My buddy. So this is gonna on. be this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> this is gonna be dangerous, but a lot of fun. I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot of fun. But it's definitely gonna be dangerous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Yep. No, I think we're already dead. You guys should get in and shut the tailgate. You know, us talking right now on YouTube. But he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, IR camera doesn't seem to be working correctly, so I'm going to have to, uh, have to use my other camera with the red light. I know some people don't like that, but we are back road riding right now, going to a location. If, if, if anybody finds this camera, Please tell my wife I love her. Can you turn the light off?
again. Act natural and pensive, bewildered. Well, Jimmy and John, welcome to what we do in uh, when we go look for Bigfoot in Florida. Yep, this is fun. I would do it again. I forgot my big flashlight. I have a big flashlight. I was say he's never been down this road. But he walked down it a little bit. Yeah. So we are out of the vehicle. We're going to walk down this road a little bit. Not a whole lot of traffic down here. We are way back in the forest. So who knows? We might get lucky. That was the other group that's with us back over there messing with us. Hold on. I'm assuming. That wasn't, was it? <laughs> Out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try my first Bigfoot call on camera. I have never done this before. Can you hold your camera? So and you I don't know what I'm do doing. It? Yeah. I'm going to hold my camera. Um, little known fact, I'm a, I'm a Bigfoot college pro. <laughs> Not everybody knows that. Keep it to yourself. Hey, for the quality of being put <laughs> on. <laughs> Peanut gallery. All right, so we are back in the vehicle. We're gonna go check out another spot and uh, see what we can find. No luck in this spot. We are at another location. This is a uh, a little trail that cuts back through here. Um, no vehicle traffic or anything. And it's really soft from the rain. So, fingers crossed, we may find a footprint or two. Hi, Alex. <laughs>
Well, no such luck out here. It really has been pretty cool out here though, wandering around these woods at night. Really don't don't know if we're gonna find anything or hear anything or whatever, but it's still interesting. It's a lot of fun. I would definitely do it again. Because the boys that patrols this is a girl. She's about 30 years old, little short little blonde hair girl. And then a guy probably might be 55, 60 years old. Well, and we made it safely back and it was a cold ride in that truck. I got a little cup of coffee here. There's Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy in the background. <laughs> it was a weird ride, I'll say that. It was a lot of fun though. The Bigfoot hunting with these guys was actually a lot of fun. And I would definitely do it again. But like I said, it was cold. Now we're gonna chill out around this fire and get warm back up. I'm drinking this cup of coffee and then here in a little while, I'm gonna be hitting the sack, I think. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Well, I actually slept really good last night. It got pretty, got pretty chilly. But I was comfy here in my hammock setup. I like this tarp setup. There's no real condensation to speak of. It's got these little gaps in the corners up there and I think that helps with condensation I don't even know what time it is or anything my phone went dead last night and I was so comfortable here that I didn't get my charger so I gotta go through my phone on the charger and get some coffee I'm starting to hear people rustle around so time to get up and get coffee some coffee. Now for breakfast, <laughs> got some bacon flavored spam. So at Georgia Bushcraft last year I got these little uh, origami plate kind of thingies. But it makes a good cutting board and it also makes, this is actually the bowl, this uh, a snap fold bowl so I'm going to use that as a cutting board to cut my spam up in the slices mm. and uh, I've just got my little bowl here I'll kind of fry it up in so or pot I guess that's a pot not a bowl brain's not working so good this morning it's uh pretty chilly I haven't had that coffee yet, so that'll help. I need a knife to cut that spam up with. Oh yeah. That's good eating there. Got the Got the ranger grip to slice it with. Something like that.
coffee water is ready. Ooh, that feels good. It's cold. My hands are cold this morning. And that steam off of that cup feels good. Cafe Bustello. <coughs> the usual. This morning, I boiled enough water for two cups of coffee. Because I got my little cup cozy thing here. So I don't have to worry about my coffee getting cold before I drink it. <coughs> so Jimmy already packed up and left. And I am the only person awake here now. So once again, trying to be quiet. Too hot, too hot. All right, so I got my pieces of Spam sliced up. And uh, I think we're going to throw them on this little gas stove this morning. In that little pot there. And I do have some olive oil I can put in there with it to keep them from sticking up too bad. So I'm going to turn this fire down as low as I can get it. Try to keep from burning it. Still getting too hot right there in the center of it because of that little gas stove so I'm just kind of letting it get hot and I'll take it off of it and move it around a little bit takes a little bit more work but I think it'll work a little bit more effort but I think it'll work that should have been worth it <coughs> That's the problem. <clears throat> That's the problem with the stainless steel and stuff like that is it doesn't disperse the heat as nice as like cast iron. If I had a little cast iron pot or something like that or frying pan, it would disperse that heat a little better. It would still have a hot spot, but not quite as bad as that. But this looks pretty good still to me. It crisped up that outside edge. Spam breakfast. Good too. Funny, it does have a bacon flavor to it. I know that a lot of you don't particularly care for the live streams. <clears throat> but if you didn't watch this last week's live stream, I encourage you to go back and watch it because... We covered a lot of good information on Wild Camp 2024, and if that's something you're interested in, you definitely wanna. And if that's something you're interested in, you're definitely gonna want to uh, go check out that live stream. It uh, gives you all the information on the location of the site, the dates, and stuff like that. And it also gives you the uh, information to have an opportunity for a VIP night and uh, get your tickets locked in early. So. Go check that out. It's definitely going to be uh, 
worth it for you, I think. So everything was quiet around camp. So I decided to take a little morning stroll just down the little gravel, gravel road here. I came across the lady who had been hiking and her little GPS wasn't getting good signal out here. In Jennings State Forest, you need to download your maps offline because the signal is not great out here. Now I'm having good signal with my AT&T phone out here. The last time I was out here, I had my Verizon, and the GPS didn't work worth a crap out here. So, you should definitely have a paper map, know how to read it, or download your maps offline in Jennings State Forest, for sure. I just got back from my hike, and uh, I have had a great time here. These were some nice folks to uh, camp with, and I really enjoyed the little Bigfoot hunt last night. Didn't really get any uh, any real like interaction or anything like that, but that's okay. It was a lot of fun. But I guess that's how it goes with Bigfoot hunting, right? So it's time for me to break down camp, but I want to do something different today than I normally do. So I've seen a lot of people um, not put their stuff in stuff sacks. Like I'm a kit guy. I like to have everything in its own sack. But I've seen a lot of people just stuff their sleeping bags and everything down inside their pack and they say it saves a lot of room in their pack. So I'm going to try that today and just see if it just see if it works. I've been wanting to try it. I haven't done it yet. We're going to try it today. All right, so I don't know if it's more efficient or not, actually. It feels like the pack is more bulky now. Um, it was definitely easier to pack everything up, just stuffing it in there, but the pack feels more bulky, and uh, I don't know that I like it. I like the structured feel, I think, when I have everything in their stuff sacks, and uh, I can stuff it down in there, and it feels like everything's just stacked on itself, and I know I'm losing space for space efficiency, this is probably the best way because you could probably mash more things in there. But I don't like the way it makes the pack feel. So, I guess to each their own. If this is your way of doing it and it works for you, that's great. I don't think it works for me. So, I think when I get home, I'll be putting everything back in the stuff sack. All right, buddy. Well, I appreciate you so much for letting me go out with you last night. It was awesome. I had, I really, really had a lot of fun last night. Um, uh, thank you for coming out with us, man. Yeah. Hey, you, uh, you, your presence here is just phenomenal, and, and it <laughs> well, really made the experience. Yeah. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun, you know. I mean, awesome. it was. Uh, I've, I've kind of said it before. It trips like this. It's like with your buddies just running around out in the woods and stuff and that's exactly what it was like it was so much fun so yes, sir. i really appreciate it thank you so much man. anytime all right miss marie well i'm gonna get ready to get out of here i want to say thank you so much for oh, it was a pleasure. for letting me come out and tag along it was a lot of fun so hopefully next time i'm out here i'll kind of follow you guys and uh if i'm in the area maybe i can tag along with you another time absolutely we go to the green swamp and stuff awesome so i don't know if you go with jimmy yeah whatever yeah for sure hey you guys are welcome to come out and thank you for the, teaching us about the fat lighter fat lighters. yep well very cool thank you so much thank i appreciate you. it mm -hmm. all right so as you can see we are all cleaned up and ready to go this has been a lot of fun this is not one of our typical videos um 
we don't typically go out and do like bigfoot hunting and stuff like that but that was a lot of fun last night i will say and uh i'll definitely be interested in doing something like that again so if you guys enjoyed the video give it that big thumbs up for me if you haven't already hit the subscribe button you can follow me on instagram and on facebook i appreciate you guys watching this video and i'll see you next week